the Kansas Education Standards, were adopted in February 2007 and were revised in June of this year. Due to the fairly recent changes in these standards, and in an effort to simplify the transition to these standards, the exact indicators to be assessed in 2008 are in the process of being reviewed. The items that will be on the science assessment for 2007 and 2008 will come from the pool of indicators marked with either a delta or an asterisk. Additional information will be posted on the Kansas Department of Education website, www.ksde.gov, as soon as it becomes available. Test indicators at fourth grade, seventh grade, and high school levels build upon standards from previous years. Awareness of the indicators leading up to each level is beneficial to the overall development capacity of instructional planning and student learning. Hello, my name is Debbie Restivo, and on this Greenbush VPL podcast, I will provide you with an overview of the 2007 Kansas standards. Number one, the vision statement. Science education in Kansas is intended to help students to develop and understand understandings and intellectual abilities that they need to lead personal fulfilling lives and to equip them to participate thoughtfully with fellow citizens in building and protecting an open, equitable, and vital society. Because science education in Kansas strongly emphasizes the skill of scientific inquiry as an essential component of scientific literacy, Students at all grade levels should have the opportunity to use scientific inquiry and develop the ability to think and act in ways associated with inquiry. These standards are built on the premise that science is an active process, something that students and adults actively do, not something that is only demonstrated for them. This active engagement allows teachers to operate as a mediator, a guide, a provocateur, friend, and co-learner with their students. The purpose of this document, these standards, benchmarks, and indicators, and examples are designed to assist Kansas educators in selecting and developing local curricula, carrying out instruction, and assessing students' progress. They will also serve as the foundation for the development of state assessments in science. Finally, these standards, benchmarks, indicators, and examples represent high yet reasonable expectations for all students. The Kansas Education Standards provide criteria Kansas educators and stakeholders can use to judge whether particular actions will serve the vision of a scientifically literate society, bring coordination, consistency, and coherence to the importance and improvement of science education and advocate the science education must be developmentally appropriate and reflect a systematic, systemic, progressive approach throughout the elementary, middle, and high school years. I'm going to talk to you a little bit about how the science standards are organized. Each standard in the main body of the document contains a series of benchmarks which describe what students should know and be able to do at the end of a certain point in their education. Each benchmark contains a series of indicators. I'm going to describe the organization of the Kansas Science Education Standards, starting with what is a benchmark. I'm going to describe the organization of the Kansas edu Science Education Standards, starting with what is a standard. Standards are general statements of what students should know, understand, and be able to do in the natural sciences over the course of their K-12 education. Each standard in the main body of the document contains a series of benchmarks which describe what students should know and be able to do at a certain point of their education. Each benchmark contains a series of indicators which identify what it means for students to meet a benchmark. Indicators are frequently followed by examples. This is an example of a standard in the physical science section of the, four, uh, the three four grades, physical science. The student will increase their understanding of the properties of objects and materials that they encounter on a daily basis. 
underneath the standard physical science is the benchmark. The student will develop skills to describe objects. And underneath the benchmark are the indicators. In this physical standard, physical science standard, there are four indicators that go with benchmark number one. There are seven standards for science. These standards are general statements of what students should know, understand, and be able to do in the natural sciences over the course of their K-12 education. The seven standards are interwoven ideas, not separate entities, and they should be taught as such. These standards are clustered for grades, grade levels K-2, 3, 4, 5, 7, and 8, 12. The grade clusters again are K2, 3, 4, 5, 7, and 8, 12. Standard 1, Science is Inquiry. Standard 2, Physical Science, which includes Physics and Chemistry. Standard 3, Life Science. Standard 4, Earth and Science, Earth and Space Science. Standard 5, Science and Technology. Standard 6, Science in Personal and Environmental Perspectives. Standard 7, history and, nat and sci natural science. After we talk about what a benchmark is, then we need to um, discuss what an indicator is. Indicators are statements of the knowledge or skills which students demonstrate in order to meet, meet a benchmark. Indicators are to be met by all students. The indicators listed under each benchmark are not listed in priority order, nor do the indicators include all the potential topics related to the benchmarks. The list of examples with each indicator should be considered representative, but not comprehensive or all-inclusive. In the appendix of the 2007 Science Education Standards, you will find a glossary of terms and the grade level where the definition is applied to the standards document. Following the glossary is a bibliography. There are 22 indicators with a delta and one indicator with an asterisk in grades 3-4, in the grades 3-4 cluster. There are 22 indicators with a delta and one indicator with an asterisk in the grades 3-4 cluster. These indicators will most likely be the ones used to select the test items for the baseline for this baseline year. The three grades three four indicators for the physical science, the ones that may be used as testing are, and this is what a delta is right here, the student observe prop, observes properties of objects and measures those properties using appropriate tools. The student describes and classifies objects by more than one property. The student observes and records how one object interacts with another object. The student recognizes and describes the differences between solids, liquids, and gases. Each part of the standards for each grade level is written exactly this way. Planning for the preparation of students to meet the indicators and succeed on this year's science assessment will be covered in another podcast. For further information, you can contact the Kansas Department of Education, the Kansas Association of Teachers of Science, and the National Science Teachers Association. I hope this information has been informative, and I want to thank you for watching this Greenbush VPL Science Podcast.